Hello, Bumpy Mix Squigums here, and it's time to continue with my Let's Play of XCOM Long War. I believe this is episode 24, but I could be completely, totally, and utterly wrong. So, if that is indeed the case, well, shame on me, I don't know. We're going to continue on and hope that everything pans out. So, onward. Ooh, alloys for scientists. Yes. Okay, um, continue to go. Quest from Asia, meh. Satellite over Egypt is not... It, it's done, I guess. Assign new research. All right, so another another UFO class is going to be a little bit easier for us to murder. Fantastic. We're going to go with the experimental warfare, though I kind of want to get xenogenetics done as well. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff, and I want to get advanced beam weapons done. Uh, I all right, appreciate we're gonna your begin. efforts to support the research team, Command. We go back to mission control. We're going to rebuild the shiv. The shiv is done. Yay, carry on. Alright, we're going to scan. We have a secure transmission oh coming in from the council, Commander. What is this? Um, our sources report a develop oh gosh, a developing incident in Newfoundland up the coast from St. John's. A fishing village has gone dark. Reports from intel sources suggest alien involvement. We should send in a team to investigate the site and figure out what happened. Well that sucks. <laughs> Alright, so here's the plan. Excellent. It's we a bad plan, it's one I don't progress. like, and I probably shouldn't be doing it the way I plan to do it. But, I'm pretty much going to sacrifice the entire squad, <clears throat> because I don't think we can actually do this. So, that being said... Oh, Thunder 2. Apparently it renamed him. Hmm. Well, it's still the same person. So this one is still going to be Nico Stemur. Only the second one. Oh wait, hold on. He's gonna get dash two. Fortunately, we can actually do that with robots and things of that nature. However, the loadout, huh? The auto cannon. Well, it is what it is. Uh, we can dismantle it. That's kind of interesting. All right, let's see what to do. What to do? I know this is going to be god awful, so I kind of am leaning towards just not sending people in because I have a feeling they're all going to die. Holy crap! He's got a lot of movement. Um, I guess we'll send the hibernating potato back in because we can. We're going to load him out with not that, but a laser rifle. Um, I'm looking for guys with high movement, 14 or above. That is the goal. That is the plan, Sir Awesome Sauce. I guess you can come along, though, again, you probably don't want to on this particular mission. Uh, we're going to make items available. Thank you. Edit. I don't believe the, the scope was available. There we go. It is now available. I don't really think we need this either. I think we are going to need a high amount of explosive abilities, and we are going to utilize those. As early and as often as we can. Let's see what else. What else? Who else do we have? That's 13 and above. Lady Hanario is already on the mission. That's uh, our awesome sauce. We have Grape. Uh, grape. Yeah, Grape Hate, the Crane Maker, is going to join uh, the squad as well. I know it's looking. It's looking a little, a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. I am not going to lie. This is one of the few missions you will see me not bring a medic unless the medic is really, really, really stacked. And, um, yeah. Let's see. 14. John Sierra, the Rocketeer, actually has 14. Odie's out. Dan Commissar. Danny Commissar. Oh, I forgot to tell you. That's the newest person I added. Danny Commissar is the assault class. I apparently just forgot. Alright, well, it looks like we need one more person. Kind of want to lean toward maybe throwing Amy Harris in there. I mean, it's possible to win this, but I just don't see it happening on Long War. I think this is like a, a complete wash for us. And it makes me sad to say that. Um, I guess we'll throw John Sierra in there. And maybe we get lucky. Alright, well we need to edit some more loadouts. You need that. And who else do we have? I figure with explosives and everything else, maybe we get lucky. I guess that's it. So we're just going to launch that. And we're going to pray and hope and cross our fingers, our toes, our eyeballs. I mean, anything we can cross that will give us better luck, it's going to happen. 
The drop site for this operation will be in I Canada. hate this mission. This is the worst mission in the entire game. Now, um... Odie's always talking about Nova Scotia. I, I don't remember that even either. It never came up, or it was so easy that I never even noticed it was Nova Scotia. But this one's awful. So here we are. Commander, and yikes. We've been asked to investigate. And the game crashed. Fantastic. All right, folks. Well, after the crash, I went back in. I swear, this game. Um, hopefully the recording works this time. I'll be so sad if it doesn't. Anyway, after um after the crash, I went back in. Had to redo all my people. I should have saved at that point. I don't know why I didn't. Either way, um, we're gonna begin the assault again. We're gonna hope it doesn't crash. The drop site I did one will be in Canada. additional change, I think, and that was I maybe two. I removed all the heavy armor from these people because we're gonna die in one hit no matter what hits us. So no matter how much armor we have, it's not gonna make any difference. So mobility is king. We're gonna hope that we can actually see this through. There's a new level thing. We haven't seen anybody hop down on repel ropes yet. Commander. So. We've been asked to investigate there we some go. unusual activity taking it's place working. near a small fishing village on the island of Newfoundland. Yay. Local government officials were responding to a mayday signal when all contact was all right. lost. Well, let's get people into ship, some sort of non-horrible position. Itself. Strike one will need to move in and secure the area. Let's see if we can find out what happened here. Objective updated. So basically, here's going to be what my plan is. That was really bad English. Uh, my plan for this is going to be relatively simplistic in nature. It's going to be, since I know this mission pretty on, well, not 100%, but fairly decent. Um, like, I don't remember what the deal is at the beginning, so that kind of sucks. But, I should have moved over one further. You don't really use cover as, uh, as him. Um, I'm on it, anyway, uh... We're going to go really, really slow. We're going to send one person out to scout, assuming nothing comes charging our way. And if that's the case, we'll send one person out to scout, and the rest of the people sit back and just murder stuff from afar. It's going to be a nasty mission no matter how we look at it, no matter what happens. So, something to keep in mind, something to look for. It's going to be sad, it's going to be unfortunate and unpleasant. So we're going to use this to go scouting. And apparently we have found enemies. Chrysalids. These things are more of a threat to the civilian population than any of the other alien species. If they're spreading through this area, we better move fast to find out where they're coming from. New objective received. Alright. 72% chance to hit him, and we did actually hit him, which is somewhat impressive. And we hit him twice, which is even more impressive. He's dead. Okay, we're gonna go into Overwatch on several of our people. I think I think we might be far enough away that it's not going to make any difference. We'll see. We're going to actually move him back. And they should come charging up after us. Oh wow, lightning reflexes on him. Ooh. Oh, the first one hit. Well, it's not necessarily the first one. Okay, they both missed, but hey, at least one of them hit, which is mildly impressive, and we still have one more coming. Yep, there it is. And we totally missed that one as well. But yeah, I think we might be far enough away that we won't actually get hit. Oh gosh, he's going up on the roof. Worst case scenario. Oh, nope, he's jumping back down, but he's already made his move. Oh, close combat specialist, what? And you missed again, buddy. Well, at least we don't have to worry about that again. Adjusting sights. All right, and then he's gonna. The next one's gonna make his move over. Should not be able to close with us. Yeah, he's one away. Close combat specialist. This one will hit. And by will hit, I mean I did. It hit for four. It's down there. I assumed it was gonna pop up up top, but it doesn't have to. Um, what's happening? There's something angry over here. Well, I'm not sure what. And now what's happening? What? what Oh, that simply is what it is, I suppose. Alright, so we've spaced that out perfectly. Um, yeah. Let's finish that guy off. Beautifully done. X-ray neutralized. And we should be able to finish this guy off as well. Another beautiful, beautiful uh, maneuver there. 
We're gonna actually go and reload this time. Keep him on overwatch. We're gonna do this real, real slow lag until we get to the point where we have to rush. And at that point, I'm not sure what we're gonna do, to be honest. Because I don't feel like anybody can outrun the chrysalids. I don't know how far they can run, but I assume none of our people are gonna be able to move far enough. Oh, oh gosh, there's four. Hmm. I didn't actually think anything would close with this this turn. Well, that could propose a problem, but maybe not. Maybe this is actually a blessing in disguise. Let's see. We will have to see. Can we land a rocket on everything without blowing ourselves to pieces? It looks like we have a highly unlikely chance of this happening. Let's do it anyway. Let's hope we at least hit somewhere nearby. It's okay. We, we landed some of this. Okay, um... What are your shots like? Oh wow, you actually have a pretty good shot. What about you? You have no shot, so we're gonna lob you, or have you rather, lob a grenade out on top of all of them. Eat this. And this is why we brought a lot of grenades, because we need to do a tremendous amount of damage. Alright. I have a 100% chance to hit him, him, and 95 on him. Let's go with this one. And now I think I can still, yeah, I can still lob a grenade out, but instead, we go for the 100% on the one in the back, and then I'm going to lob the grenade. And this should be enough to kill all of them, I think. He's got two grenades, so we will use at least one of them right here. And if this works, great. If not, we're in a lot of trouble. Okay, so that worked out. And that was a giant mass of nasty coming at us, and we survived it, so yeah, definitely going to take it. We'll have the shiv go into overwatch mode while we recover from that. Sounds like there's zombies around. I think that's a zombie sound. I don't know where they are, but they don't sound very happy that they're zombies. Um, I'm pretty sure there's one over here somewhere, though I don't know where. I'm, I'm very hesitant to move around on this map. Because it makes me very terrified. As you saw, that was like death trap. If I moved anybody out at any point and triggered those before I was situated or ready, and they actually got to move toward me and then move toward me again, We're green to go. that would have been it. It would have been over. So, yeah. Pretty happy how that all played out in the grand scheme of things. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, I should have reloaded that one. Alright, there's clearly an alien over in this general Dorito direction. General region. So, derision, I guess, is what I was just going to come out with. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to send our Shiv out to do some exploratory stuff. See what he can find. And... Yeah, we'll reload him. And then it's, I think somebody said it was like Control-O or Alt-O to overwatch somebody else. Except for, hmm, not sure why uh, Crane Maker didn't go into Overwatch. I feel, Commander. I don't know. Two people didn't go into Overwatch. Everybody else did. It's weird. Again, exploration, guys. Exploration. This is a map that you want to go as slow as possible for a while, and then you're gonna want to go as fast as possible after that. So we're gonna see what we can trigger. And that's the whole point. You, you go to certain trigger points and then you need to come back. And this might seem really lame, guys, and I apologize, but it simply is what it is. There's still something clearly over there. Definitely sounds like some seriously bad Juju Magumbo is going on everywhere. Gotta say, I'm not a fan. A bad Juju Magumbo going down in my general vicinity. All right, I'm gonna move over here now. I'm no fisherman, but something about that shark just doesn't look right. Yeah, I would agree. All right, I think we're gonna actually start looking. Roger that. Hopefully, slowly and safely. I think we're gonna actually start moving up. I think we're relatively safe to do this. 
I mean, nothing has moved on us in quite some time, so Stepping off. I'm going to make an assumption that we're somewhat safe at this point to move out, so that's Time what we're to gonna do. And then if we have to go elsewhere, we will. Mm. On the move. Kinda wanna see what's in here. Is there anything? No? Okay. Well, then I'm just gonna overwatch. We're gonna go really slow, guys. It's gonna be kind of a, well, maybe a nail-biting mission. Maybe a worrisome mission. I still think I'm gonna fail at this one. This is the hardest mission that I've come across in the. You've got oh, zombies near go. your position, strike one, which means the chrysalids aren't far behind. We need to find out where these things are coming from on the double. That didn't start at the timer yet, did it? I hope not. All right, so the zombies are coming. Not a big deal. I knew that was gonna happen eventually. Well, that's new. Ah, there we go. We should probably let Doctor Vallen know about this. I doubt one chrysalid and a shark was enough for them to overrun this town, though. Keep an eye out for anything else the chrysalids might be nesting in. Nesting in. Alright, let's move here. Enemy spotted. Oh, found a zambi. I'm gonna shoot the zambi too. He is not gonna enjoy himself whatsoever. Alright, what kind of shots you got? You got 82? Take it, buddy. Alright, beautiful. Man, our laser sniper dudes are doing game. our laser rifle guys are doing amazing. And that should be far enough away that I'm not gonna trigger him. 60%? Maybe we hit? No. That's a better than it's a better than not chance to hit, and unfortunately we still didn't hit. Alright, I'm gonna move here. Out. And nothing happening. I'm gonna run and gun up on this Moving thing. Might be a terrible mistake. If it is, so be it. If not, I can live with that as well. And goodbye. Dead and gone. gone. Alright. Chrysalid should come after us now, of course, because they only know one direction, and that's forward and death. So what are you the oh gosh. What are the most feared enemies that you uh fight in XCOM and in, in Xenonauts, I suppose we'll go with both of those games. Which is the most feared enemy between both games, which do you fear the most? Me personally, I think I fear these things in Long War more than the other ones, but I felt I feared the... I don't know, I don't know what I feared the most in the other one, in uh, Xenonauts. Hmm. I'll have to think about that for a few minutes. Well, I apologize, guys. And I'd like to be a little bit better suited for uh, answering the questions that I ask, but... Yeah, I think at this point I don't really have the best of uh, responses. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go over here. Got it, moving. I think that's going to be probably one of the better choices that I can make. And I also think that we are going to back up to here and once again overwatch. Actually, we're going to reload. We're going to reload. to say that with our infantry we're going to move there with him. We're going to do some overwatching with the rest of our people who do not have a shot. On it. And try to position ourselves so we can actually land it. I should have reloaded him. That was kind of a mistake. Uh, we're going to have to maybe fall back? No, maybe not. Of course he's going to have lightning reflexes. Oh! We burned through our person, but we hit the guy. It's kind of impressive. I'll get him next time. I think our shiv might end up getting killed. Depends on the move order. If they all do their double move up, we might actually be okay because it should surround the shiv and protect it from. Yeah, I think we're gonna be okay. Are they gonna make a wall and just completely negate the other guy's ability to move? Mm. I don't know, this is looking scary though. Uh oh. That's not good.
Okay. Okay, well at this point, hmm. The ship can still move, which is weird, because that should never happen. And we're gonna move the ship actually. Alright. So we have 83%. Let's see if we can take this one out. Indeed we can't. Wow, I didn't know it did that much damage. Holy crap. Um We can do one shot and a grenade. Seventy two percent. Let's see if we can take it. Oh no, we missed. That's uh that's not good. Adjusting sights. I'm leaning toward retreating at this point. Um Hmm. I'm gonna move her back. Let's see, she's got a 74%. So we take that shot. Okay, good. We hit that one. Excellent. I don't think I'm gonna use him because oh, man, I still think we're gonna lose somebody. Um, I'm gonna move him up here. Oh, well, let's see. What kind of shot do we have with the rocket? There's so much chance for failure at this, it's scary how bad it is. Uh, we're gonna take it though. Please don't hit anybody in front of you. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, um... What about you? What do you have? Really bad shot. Crap. Um... Maybe we get lucky. Oh, and we did. We got lucky. Alright. So he's gonna overwatch. He's got at least one shot left. And then we're gonna move this one... Right here to overwatch as well. And if the other one comes down, maybe we get fortunate enough to kill it before it jumps on our people. Alright. It didn't move? What? I want vision on the roof. Um, I think I'm going to move her down there. Hopefully that's okay. I think it'll be okay. We're going to reload her, though. She can't overwatch, unfortunately. Um, I think I'm going to move him here. Okay. And I'm going to overwatch with him. I'm going to keep the shiv roughly where it's at. Overwatch with it as well. Till we find that one, one misplaced uh, dude that went up on the roof, we are oh, going to be overwatching everybody just about. We hear shrieking and screaming. So, what was that? I don't know where that chrysalid went. They always go forward. I've never seen someone run away from us before. So I'll have to assume that that is the one. And I don't know why it would have looped around like that. That does seem very, very suspect and very, very strange. Oh, well, we blew a hole in the corner of the building. Or we kind of removed the corner of the building, I suppose. Mario and John Sierra. Our people are pretty bad. Even the, even the shiv was better than all of our people shooting. Oh, say, and fantastic, it ran away from us. But, it also ran back, so we should be able to deal with this relatively simple and easy. Enemies in sight. Oh no, we made a terrible miscalculation. Well, um... That's not good. That is what we commonly call a bad thing. Also, you are out of bullets, sir. Back in. Um, Shiv can do something here. Yeah, that was me being somewhat overzealous. And it's probably going to cost us quite a bit. You've got one more grenade you can toss. Where's it gonna land though? Hmm. 
Who do we have left? Lady Hanaria. Eh, we might we might be able to do this. We have run and gun. Alright, so I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna have to move behind the box. This might be good. This might be good. Alright. We might have the ability to actually survive this. It's really going to come down to how amazing a throw this guy can make. I don't care about the shiv, unfortunately. It's going to sound heartless and crude. But apparently it doesn't do damage to them. Alright, what kind of shot do we have? We have 84% to guarantee the kill, or we can take the risk with the grenade and not guarantee the kill. Lady Hanario, you failed us once. Don't do it again. Oh my gosh. Oh, my heart. My heart can't take this, guys. My heart can't take this. Also, we've gone a pretty long time. I realized quite a bit of it was downsized by um, just some seriously dark Juju Magumbo going on. No, uh, the game crashing. But I think this might be a two-part mission. <sighs> also, I think... Um, I think Grey Pate Crane Maker probably needs to change her pants because I'm pretty sure she pooped herself when those things came running up. So at this point what I'm going to do is continue to hopefully slowly advance, be super glad that the ship survived and doesn't take damage from bad sources of things and junk. And yeah, we're going to roll out from here. I'm going to finish this turn, get everybody reloaded and ready for the next thing. And then I think I'm going to break off the episode there and, well, you guys get to see me hopefully complete this in a successful fashion in the next little bit, but I'm going to assume that I'm going to do something really dumb and get myself killed and okay. fail and you guys will all laugh and yeah. So I'm going to try not to get anybody killed, but there's no guarantee. See right now we're still doing the easy part of this mission and we've already utilized a lot of our explosives. So this is what we commonly call a bad thing. Alright, so there's still clearly stuff going on. We don't know what's happening just yet, but everybody's still alive, and I think I'm going to make the break right here, guys. So, thank you for joining me today for XCOM Long War's next daily episode, and tomorrow, hopefully we finish this with no losses, and I'm an amazing hero, and everybody can rejoice and sing of my praises, or, more likely, I'm going to end up failing and dying, and everybody will hate me because I got all of you killed. Either way, I'm going to give it my best shot, and that's pretty much going to do it for this episode, guys. So, I will see you tomorrow with more XCOM Long War. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, 